Hey guys, and I'm back with part two of the q and I'll be answering your questions. The uh, 350 sub Q&A, well, which has now turned into 400 subs, like I joked about. But you guys are crazy, so we actually got to it. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into the questions. I got quite a bit. Before we get started with the questions... The most asked question across all of my channel, on all my videos, is easily Why don't you just play TF2? And my answer? I do! I do fucking play TF2! <laughs> like, this is, this is kind of a, kind of a huge, um, hu huge, uh, revelation for some of you, but you're actually allowed to play more than one game. And I choose to play both TC2 and TF2. And if your question changes from why why don't you just play TF2 to why do you play TC2 at all? It's because I like the game. It's usually the reason why people uh play games. It's because they like them. So yeah, I like both TF2 and TC2, and I play both. So yeah. Congrats. If QA, what would you add to TC2 if you could add anything? Um I really don't know what I would add to be perfectly honest I'm I'm not a developer for a reason because I, uh, I I don't got the ideas I don't know what would make TC2 better for me for me personally um I like some more form of customization I want I, I was kind of hoping we'd get another cosmetic slot like like TF2 you get three cosmetic slots so that way you can have like a misc like clothing and a hat. Like I want to. I want to have wizard hat and badass shades. <laughs> That's what I want to have. I want to have a badass wizard hat on my soldier, some shades, and then a dope fucking jacket. And um, I guess I guess skins too. Like war paints would be cool, or even just paintable weapons. We don't got a lot of those, um, but I would. I would love for more weapon customization other than just like adding in a full on a reskin. Because because you know reskins are cool, but they don't track kills the way strangers do. So, I, I think more weapon and character customization would be cool. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna say stuff like, I'll make the hit reg detection better, because that's obviously like... It, it, yes, of course, I, I, I would make that better if I could, but the problem is like, the devs aren't intentionally making it the way it is. <laughs> like, Roblox as an engine just kinda sucks. And some of the stuff that TF2 can have, like, the pretty accurate hitboxes and pretty decent hit reg is um just like not as reliable in the roblox engine which is unfortunate but it's just the way roblox works you play any game it's gonna be the same do you have any aiming tips for tc2 slash tf2 i play both games and suck at aiming lol um so aim is something that it's not really something that um it, I can give tip like concrete tips on um because it's sort of just based off of your personal experience I'd recommend just playing the games and practicing um although if you're swapping a lot like if you're swapping from TC2 to TF2 uh, and your sensitivities aren't similar you might be experiencing like I don't know how to describe it you might be rusty on one game and then rust not rusty on the other so like I, I was playing a lot of TF2 recently, and I came back to TC2, and I was just whiffing in TC2 because I was I, I was uh, used to the TF2 sensitivity that I've got. So I guess you could try uh, equaling out your sensitivities on both games, um, and also just keep keep them like a cool head, a cool mind. If your flicks aren't good, just take your time to aim your shots. Um, and if you're playing something like Root, and you need practice tracking. You could, you could always open up like an aim trainer, like aim labs is free on Steam. But uh, I, I think the best tool for getting better at the game is simply playing it because you'll not only be training your aim, you'll be training your game sense, your movement, and it'll be much, you'll be a much better player overall. So yeah, just practice makes perfect basically. And I know that's basic as shit, but it's because it's true. I would love a QA and if you ever do one, my question is, have you ever considered doing a video on a different Roblox game like ours, decaying winner, or maybe even randomly generated droids? So, um, 
I, I actually don't play a whole lot of Roblox outside of TC2. TC2 is sort of my main game that I play on Roblox, and that's pretty much it. So, like, I, I, I don't, I'm not even sure what a couple of these games you're saying are. I've heard of Decaying Winter, but I've never even heard of Hours or Randomly Generated Droids, so I probably wouldn't make a video on that. Sorry. But that being said, I do actually have a non-TC2 Roblox video in the work about a game I used to play a lot. Not so much anymore, but it's a, a game that I think is pretty cool on Roblox. And I guess, should I? Yeah, you know what? Sure. I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll drop the um, idea. See what you guys think. Um, it's about blood and iron, which if you don't know, is like a Napoleonic war Roblox game that I think is pretty interesting and fun. And I was going to make like a video essay style video on that. So if any of you have played it or if you'd be interested in it, um, Comment down below if you'd be interested in it and let me know because currently I'm, I'm script writing it but if, if, if everyone really wants that video then maybe I'll hurry up and get it done. Yeah. Why did you start making TC2 videos and what's your favorite TC tuber? Well, uh, Herpy6? I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um. The reason why I started making TC2 videos is I just sort of started playing the game again in late 20, 21, 22, I think? Was it 22? Uh, I, I don't know. It was late 2021 or late 2022. And uh, I, I st started getting recommended videos of TC2 and I started seeing that they had like pr pretty reasonable following. And I was gathering clips of this game, so I was like, I, I guess I'll make like a clip dump. And it got like 300 views, and I was like, all right, you know what, that's fine, that's cool. That, that, that's an alright amount of views, I guess I'll make some more. And then I just started meeting people through the game, and I got the content creator role. And I just decided, you know, as I played the game more, like there was videos I wanted to make. I got these ideas, you know, for the poachers video, just casually. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I really want to make that. And so then I did. And then I got like the, um, <laughs> like, like, like a little kid's dream. I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I went to bed and woke up and my video blew up? And then, um, it did. <laughs> that did happen. And I think it went to like 1K overnight. And that was pretty cool. It's pretty huge for me. Now it's sitting around 8K. My most recent video gets like 11K. So, you know. I'm happy for that. And what's your favorite TC tuber? Uh, you personally were a pretty big inspiration for my poachers video. Cause I saw that there was indeed people out there who wanted educational, edutainment style content about TC2. And I was like, Hey, I want to do this about a weapon that I use a lot. So you're a big inspiration, but f f for TC tubers that like, um, I just like to casually watch. I really like, uh, just soft. Gasoff, once again, don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, they're a pretty good TC2 YouTuber. They make like gameplay clip dump kind of videos, but they're well edited and really nice. I like them. What are your favorite games outside of Roblox? Um, I play a lot of Risk of Rain 2, TF2, obviously. Um, I play, let me just go to my, my uh, Steam. Hold on. <laughs> Look at my favorite games. I play a lot of. Yeah, Risk of Rain TF2. I play Ultra Kill quite a bit. Or I used to. I haven't played it recently. Because I, I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood. But usually when they update the game, I'll get in the mood and I'll play it exclusively for like a few weeks. Um, oh, I played Deep Rock Gal Galactic a shit ton. That's really fun. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic's fun. A very good co-op game. I used to play a lot of Counter-Strike. Not so much anymore. I'm excited for CS2 though. And uh, play some Minecraft too. I have played quite a few games, but uh, yeah, it sort of depends on what my friends are playing. Since I play a lot of co-op, I play a lot of multiplayer games. So yeah, those are the games I like. What is your opinion on the improvised innovator? I actually don't know which weapon that is. Improv Wait, is that the pyro axe? Is that the arsonist axe? Wait, no, is this what I think it is? 
Ew! Ew! It's that weapon. I hate that. <laughs> ew! Um, I, I I haven't used it, but as a as a doctor player, whenever I see an arsonist with this thing, they always run up to me and ask for a heal, and it takes years. And it's like, dude, I could sit here for ten minutes and pump morphine into your ass so you get to full health, or you can just go pick up a health kit. <laughs> like, just go pick up the the fucking health kit, please. Um. But I haven't actually used it ever, I think. I don't play a whole lot of Arsonist, but I should actually probably now that he's fixed. So yeah. What do you think of the versus bosses rework? Do you miss the solo boss fight? Do you like the more team coordinated four bosses? What is your opinion on the five new five bosses? Do you like Seer, see later and Seeper? Do you like Blocks or Noobs rework? Or do you think they're all mid compared to classic bosses? Um, I, I really like the bosses rework. I think it makes the game a lot more interesting. I will say some of the bosses rages do feel a bit underwhelming now, but I, I think I think it's worth it for the multiple bosses. I think that's really interesting. Uh, the five new bosses, I think Roblox staff is really funny. Um, I liked the Shedletsky uh, and Telemon. Those are funny. I love their rage where they, you just fight on the fucking bridge. I think that's awesome. Uh, see you later and Seeper. I hate those. I hate those guys so much. Uh, I just don't think they're fun to play. Blocks or Noobs rework. They're basically the same. Uh, I, I, I haven't played with them a lot. I think I think the versus bosses rework was really good. So yeah, I like it a lot. Do you ever believe that mechanic is going to get reworked voice lines? If so, by Mighty Base Plate or a new person? Um, I think it's possible. I actually really like Mighty's performance. I think he's fucking hilarious. Uh, some of the vo mechanic voice lines are like some of the best in the game. So it would be a little bit sad. But like, um, if they decided that they wanted to just like, uh, cut the non-professional VAs and add some new ones, like replace mechanic and blue and uh, flanker, blue A and Mighty. Then I, I I could see them doing that, but I, I don't really see a reason to do it. Um, I, I, yeah. I mean, I could see Mighty Base Plate coming and reprising the role, because there's some there's some voice lines for Mechanic that just don't sound like they have effort into it as much as the others. But I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'd get a new guy. What what I think needs voiceover the most is the announcer. Cause it's- I'm pretty sure the announcer is just like from some fucking like game banana mod for TF2. So a Rolf, you know, I can do an announcer voice. Mission begins in 60 seconds. You see Rolf? You ever want to replace that? <laughs> Professional voice actor, 05 Anthony, we'll do it for free. I don't care. Uh, hit me up. Uh, but no. I- I could see Mechanic getting reworked voice lines. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, do you plan on making a Discord? No, I do not. I don't think a Discord is necessary at all, so uh, no, no plans for a Discord. Sorry if you wanted one, but uh, no. Is the Dragon's Fury viable? Did you know the Dragon's Fury is viable? The Dragon's Fury is now viable. What do you think of the Dragon's Fury? The Dragon's Fury is now viable. What do you think about the Dragon's Fury? What do you think of the Dragon's Fury? Did you know the Dragon's Fury is now viable? Did you know the Dragon's Fury is now viable? What is your opinion on the Dragon's Fury? What? The Dragon's Fury is now viable. Why do you think of the Dragon's Fury? <laughs> uh, I think the Dragon's Fury is actually pretty good. Like, like I, that's a bit, I know. Honestly, it, it's, it is pretty good though. The burst damage, not gonna lie, that burst damage goes hard as fuck. So the Dragon's Fury is not only viable, it's good. You heard it here first. No, stop commenting it before I go insane. What is your favorite and least favorite boss to play as slash fight against? My favorite boss to play as is a uh, brutal marksman because I love the huntsman. And I think it's funny when people forget you have it and like a brute just starts revving at you and you're like, okay, I'm going to delete you because you're a fucking brute standing still. Um, To play as least favorite, Seeper. I, I like don't... It his rage is so weird, it's like you can parry one guy and make them and you make them scared. And I hate his rage, he just feels so underpowered and he needs a better rage. Please Rolf, I hate this guy. I hate Seeper. Um and then to my favorite to fight against, 
would probably be oh um, Joseph Fitton because I feel like the fear effect is funny and keeping your distance and keeping that nice sort of mid to long range distance is very effective against him because you can avoid getting feared for long periods of time when he rages and to fight against um, I would have said mad mechanic but if this was before the update but now his rage has changed I don't know it's, I, I really don't know what my least favorite to fight against isn't because they all really play kind of the same to me so yeah uh, sorry, I couldn't answer that part, but yeah, those are the bosses that I like and don't like. What do you think of TC2 in general? Community, game appearance, game system, etc. Um, the TC2 community has been surprisingly welcoming, even if it's a bit immature at times, but, you know, just like the TF2 community, um, it's a bit immature. The, the game's appearance, I, I don't really have a strong feeling one way or the other on the game's appearance. Um, I feel like the characters and the game world is really interesting. TC2 takes place, I think, in like the early 2000s. So like, I, I think it'd be really interesting for a more modern take on the TF2, uh, like a uh, game world, but in the 2000s. So it's interesting to me. Um, I, I think it really sucks how they haven't flushed out any of the characters beyond the game world much. I, I, I really would love a meet the team style series but for like an official meet the team series for pc2 i think that'd be cool help flesh out the characters um game system not entirely sure what you mean about that if you mean like how the game feels i think the movement if you had asked me this before the update come out i would have told you that the movement was dog shit <laughs> but um now that we've got basically a pretty close source movement i think the movement feels pretty good um game game system quite sure what that means like um I, I love the game modes we have and stuff i love you know payload cash of the flag but or not cash of the flag fucking king of the hill i hate ctf um yeah i i like tc2 i think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty cool you s definitely could use some work but it's pretty cool have you played games unite testing place no i have not i don't really play a whole lot of roblox outside tc2 like i said when and how did you find out about TC2 and what made you want to start a YouTube channel around it? Um, I already said why well, I started a YouTube channel uh, earlier, but how did I find it? Uh, I knew what TF2 was and I was playing that a little bit, but my computer was shit and I recognized Typical Colors 2 and I was like, oh, this is like TF2 on Steam. And so I started playing it back in like 2015, 16, I'm not sure exactly when. And I have some vintage weapons, too, which is cool to prove it. Like, I have a vintage rocket jumper, but not a market gardener, because we were old abing people back in the day. <laughs> there was no market gardener necessary. Um, so I found out about it just because I knew what TF2 was, and I saw TC2 on Roblox, and I was like, hey, this is cool. And I played it. Uh, yeah. And then the YouTube channel came years later. What's your most hated weapon in TC2? Either you don't like using it or think it sucks to fight against. What's something in this game that you just really don't like? Um, I don't know. I really don't have a whole lot of weapons that I'm like up in arms about. I, 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 I kind of don't really like the battalion's backup, but that's probably because I play a lot of marksmen. And I, I feel like it just makes things way too tanky. And it's just like, there's not really much counter to it. Other than just like meleeing them, yeah. I guess I guess battalions back up. What is your favorite subclass? Who do you main? What weapon are you most mad about being removed? And what TF2 weapon do you think should be added in TC2? Um, favorite subclass? Does poetry's marksman count? I guess I guess it kind of does. If not, then I don't know. Who do you main? I main Doctor and Marksman. Those are my two mains. What weapon are you most mad about being removed? The old Abe. Gotta add that shit back. It was really funny. Uh, what TF2 weapon do you think should be added in TC2? I really don't know uh, any weapons in TF2 that TC2 doesn't have. There's probably some. Like, uh, Neon Annihilator isn't in the game. I know that. But, um, besides that, I can't really think of anything that isn't in TC2 already. 
So I'm, I'm, I know I'm probably missing something obvious as shit, but like, uh, yeah, don't know about that last one. You see any use in shield bashes now that they're fixed? I don't play a whole lot of any knight, but yeah, I imagine there would be uses for it now that it's fixed because you can't really deal mini crits or crits with most of the shields. So yeah, I, I in my unprofessional any knight opinion, yeah, there's probably some use to it. Will there be more clip dumps of you just experiencing funny slash unexpected moments? Yes, there will be, Jerry Lobster, but you won't be in them because I hate you. Just kidding. I love Lakeside.tc and I love Jerry Lobster, the mayor of Lakeside.tc. And you should visit Lakeside.tc where you can meet Jerry Lobster, the mayor of Lakeside. Did you catch that? You need to go to lakeside.tc and meet Jerry Lobster, the mayor. What do you think is the most underrated and overrated weapon? Uh, for underrated? Um, I don't know. For underrated? I'm trying to think of a weapon I use that's pretty good. I, I like the boonie blaster, but I don't see a lot of people uh, running it. I love to swap with like the, the rocket launchers and like the boonie blaster. I love to like swap and fucking get kills that way. That's really satisfying and overrated. Um, for overrated weapons, I really can't think of any. I guess maybe the specialist because it, yeah, I can out DPS stock sometimes, but like you can get one kill pretty much. And then it's like, oh, this flanker's reloading. Let me kill them. But yeah, I guess that's my most underrated and most overrated. Do you think you will make more content besides TC2 anytime in the near future, or will you stick on it for a while? No, I'm definitely going to make non-TC2 content. I know my branding right now is TC2, and I'm not going to stop making TC2 content. But I definitely want to start making uh, other content too. I have general sort of uh, video essay style content that I want to make, and also like um, some just some funny videos about different games. So. Uh, yeah, there probably will be non-TC2 content soon, so if you're excited for uh, non-TC2, uh, stay tuned. If you played old TC2, would you go back? Uh, absolutely not. No, the game is easily a hundred times better today than it was back in the day. I mean, of course, nostalgia is like, oh, oh no, but the old Abe or whatever. No, no, the game is way better. Better movement, better hit reg better voice lines, better appearance, better graphics, better game system. It's just, just everything. Everything's better. And if you don't think that's true, you are blinded by nostalgia. There's no other way. I, I can never be wrong. I'm always right 100% of the time. What is your favorite mechanic weapon? Uh, probably the Eureka effect or whatever TC2 calls it. I think it's still called the Eureka effect, but I love being able to teleport back to spawn. I think that's cool. What is your rarest item you have in TC2? Um, I think it would probably be some of the self-mades I have. I have a couple self-mades. Or, I, no, not self-mades. It's community. Sorry, my bad. It's not self-made. It's a community... I, yeah, it's a community, um, like, chef's hat. And a couple others that I have. Those are probably the rarest items that I have. The second rarest item that I have is the pan which segues nicely into the next question I have, which is how did you get a genuine frying pan? So this story is actually really interesting. Um, so I was at a baseball game in San Francisco and I was watching the Giants and another team I forget. And I was there um, in, in the stands, whatever, e e eating like uh, peanuts and hot dogs, like any other good baseball watcher. And, um, I was watching TF2 videos on my phone, or TC2 videos. I was watching TC2 videos, and then someone taps on my shoulder, and they're like, Hey, you like TC2? And I was like, yeah, I do, and I turn around, and it was actually Honorkey. So Honorkey was at the baseball game. Um, and so I was like, hey, if I call a home run, will you give me a genuine frying pan? And he was like, um, yeah, but if you're wrong, I'll ban you. And then I called the home run, and he gave it to me. So yeah, that's how I got my frying pan. The next question we got is, how the hell did you get a frying pan? Okay, so this story actually is like not interesting at all. I was at a football game and I was um, in, in, the, in the stands and I was eating a cheeseburger like any good footballer. 
when um uh I I was walking back to the bathroom and Anarchy was there and he was like, "Hey, you play TC2?" And I was like, "Yeah, can you give me a pan?" And he said, "Yes, I'm very open to suggestion and I will give you a frying pan." And then he gave me the frying pan, and it's really not that interesting. So like I don't tell this story too often. All right. Um the next question we got is how did you unlock the genuine frying pan? So this story is actually the most interesting story of in my life. I was at a bowling alley in uh, Los Alamos, Texas, and then Anarchy walked in and he was like, Hey, um, if you roll a strike, I will give you a genuine frying pan. And I was like, I am the best bowler of all time. I've hit all pins in the world and I'm going to hit all 10. And I'm gonna get that frying pan. And he was like, I fucking hate you. No, you won't, bitch. And he called me a bitch. And it made me very sad. But then I, I rolled it and it was a strike. And he was like, oh my god. Oh my god, you're the best roller alive. You hit all 10 pins. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, I did. I want my pan. And then he called me an asshole and a bitch again. And he threw an asshole in there too. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then, um... <laughs> He, uh, he told me to kill myself, but then I had a pan in my, uh, in my, um, inventory when I got home, so that was cool. Alright, um, this next question, I don't think I've answered this yet. Um, yeah, no, I haven't. Um, how did you get a genuine frying pan? So I actually asked Fake Access to mod it in the game for me, and he was like, yeah, I'll do it for you. And now I have a frying pan. And, um, if you want one, all you have to do is, uh, go into his comment section on YouTube and say, Fake Axis, please give me genuine frying pan. Um, I love your videos so much. I love Harvest.tc. Um, and I, I really want a genuine frying pan, Fake Axis. You have to give it to me. And you have, you have to say those exact words. Like, you can't paraphrase that. Fucking study that part of the video that I just said. And you have to put that in his comments. And then he'll give you the frying pan. Because that's real. That's definitely what happened. And that's real. That's real as shit. All right, and that's all the questions I'm going to answer today. Um, sorry if I didn't get to your question. I got a lot more than I thought I would, and this video is already getting pretty long. So I'm just going to call it here. And if you've got a question that you really, really need answered, you can comment it down below, and uh, I might reply to it with an answer. But yes, that is where I'm going to call the video. Uh, thank you all so much for 400 subscribers. I got more videos on the way. Don't you worry. And, uh, just have a good day. And, uh, yeah. Have a good day. How do I end videos? I have 400 subscribers. How do you end? I, I've never thought of this shit, man. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to end a video? I don't get it. I don't know. This should it just go on forever? Shit. Is it ever gonna end? Oh, God. Am I trapped? Oh, no. Wait, no, no, wait, no, I'm not trapped. This got this video has got to end. It has to end. All videos have to end. All videos... All videos have to end, right? They all have to end? Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm going to be trapped. I'm going to be trapped. Fine, fine, fine. You know what? I know, I know, I know what, I know what can get me out of here. I know what can get me out of here. Hold on. <clears throat> I need to... I need to look up this script, that I, this ancient script that I keep hidden away, that I will read in order to ward off the demons and allow me to escape. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat for the ancient chant. All right, here we go. Dragon's Fury is a primary weapon for the arsonist. It is a black and team colored flamethrower with a long, wide nozzle fitted with a large propane tank, which is attached to the flamethrower with metal rods and bars. A rectangular team colored box is situated in the back of the weapon, which contains the handle and